And uh, you mentioned some European uh, new laws to control the illegal uh, immigration from Egypt and from other uh, uh, African countries. And you uh, gave an example uh, in Italy, uh, a new legalization to, to limit this. But th- despite the European countries' support to Egypt, uh, uh, Catherine, with money and equipments, the number of Egyptian migrants has increased. How do you explain that? I think um, people will always find a way. Um, So I don't believe any of these measures um, that the EU have implemented really um, stop people from going because they are so desperate to get across. Um, So there is a lot of money going into what I would call the um, kind of externalising of EU borders. So, um, for example, um, I think, believe in October of uh, last year, the EU signed the first phase of an 80 million euro border deal management programme, money which will go directly to the Egypt's Coast Guard. Um, So, despite all of this, I think people do find a way and they find a way through, through desperation, but also smuggling networks. Um, I believe these measures uh, don't um, don't stop migration because people are desperate. They just merely make these uh, migration routes much, much more dangerous. Um, the central Mediterranean is, is um, the deadliest border in the world, and it's claimed the lives of some, something like 24,000 migrants. So I believe rather than stopping migration, mm. um, this EU money and these, these laws actually make people's lives um, more endangered while taking the route. Yeah, and, and with or without European countries' support, do you think Egypt can stop and deal with these waves of illegal immigration? No, well, I, I don't believe it is. Um, so, I, yes, I, I don't believe so. Um, but it depends, like, sort of what they're interested in. As I mentioned before, there's much less interest in people actually leaving, stopping people leaving the country than there is from people coming into the country. I think also um, Egypt's interests in securing particularly its coastline are political, and it's a, a means of seeking political legitimacy um, with, with the EU hmm. and um, approval for its authoritarian um, regime. Because actually prior to 2016, there was almost no interest. They had no... Um, they had no search and rescue missions, for example, prior to the Rashid disaster. Most of that was done um, by fishermen 